tough night at the ballpark as Southern Ohio falls for the third consecutive day, this time to the Licking County Settlers by a final score of 8-6. to six. And Kevin, it was a game that went to extra innings. It was an exciting game, uh, really a great ball game, but it came down to a couple of things. Southern Ohio did not produce with runners in scoring position, and they did not play well on defense. Yeah, it was a really frustrating game for this team because they left 15 men on base. Certainly not a winning formula and just a very frustrating game. And as you said, a few costly errors really came back to cost this team here uh, at the end of this game. Yeah, and Josh Rader ended up taking the loss in this ball game, but it's unfortunate because that loss came after an error uh, at third base in the last inning in the top of the 11, and then after that is when the runs came in and scored to make it eight to six. So as you said, tough loss. After the game, we caught up with a few of the guys, found out what they thought of this tough ball game. Uh, no one's really too concerned right now. Uh, I mean, we'll just take it day by day and uh, see what happens, I guess. Frustration is is probably the you know the exact right word. You know, it's uh, you know it's it's a tough game, and, and you know there there are certainly times when uh, you know it seems like nothing's going to go your way. Uh, and so you know we we've had that I think over the course of the last couple of days, and and uh, um, you know frankly it's it's never really as bad as as it seems, and it's never as good as it seems when you're going well either. So you know we'll we'll show up tomorrow with the exact same game plan. We won't do anything different, and, and uh, you know hopefully we just uh, you know we execute a little bit better, we get a little bit better uh, uh, starting pitch performance and you know, we take care of business with guys on base and you know everything everything will be all uh, you know all good after that with the defeat Southern Ohio falls to 16 and 11 and therefore they are out of that second spot in the GLSCL standings at least for now now they'll have to get back on track tomorrow as they play a double header against the Lexington Hustlers the first game is at 2 o'clock the second scheduled for 430 what do they do to get back on track you know, they have to bounce back, I think, in all three aspects of the game. They need to find a way, play a little bit more sound defensively, get a little bit better of a starting pitching performance, and then find a way to convert with men in scoring position. If they can do at least two out of those three things, I think they're going to be in good shape come tomorrow. Holistically, it is a very busy week for Southern Ohio. They'll be playing basically every day of the week, and many of those days will be double headers. They have to play 13 games over the next seven or eight days. I mean, it is a brutal brutal stretch. So that being said, if you want to follow the Copperheads, you can one, listen into all of our broadcasts. Kevin and I will cover every single ball game. You can listen on copperheadbaseball.com or if it's a home game, you can listen on Power 105 in Athens. And also make sure you follow all of our social media. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter page by going to at Go Copperheads and most importantly, follow our YouTube page. Uh, we you just search Copperheads Baseball and you'll find everything that we have there. But with that being said, he's been Kevin Noonan, I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a Copperheads defeat at the hands of the Licking County Settlers by a final score of 8-6. to six.